I can fit this thing anywhere. <laughs> I still had about mm, five or six centimeters there. Good afternoon, everyone. Driving through a monsoon here. In 400 meters, turn left on Shaughnessy Street. It is crazy. It's been raining like this for the last couple of days, pretty much non stop. And I gotta head into downtown, pick up some supplies for the trade. Turn show that left at the traffic light. Next week. So, I'm not looking forward to driving downtown on a weekday. It's bad enough without the rain, but here we go. But I figured you'd like to come along for the ride. I know I, get, I keep getting comments from some people, they just want me to turn on the camera, even if I've got no... In seven kilometers, keep right on the road. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people have said they just want to want me to turn on the camera and just randomly film whatever I'm doing, even if I'm just driving. Quite a few people said they really like my driving videos. Uh, I have no idea why, but here you go. <laughs> oh, you see that up in the frame there, the camera, the North of 60 license plate from from Dave and Vivian. It's sitting in my, um, it's just sitting on my dash right now until I, until I mount it on the back. I've got a lot of work to do. I've just been so busy. Every time I get off work, it's sometimes nine o'clock at night, and the last thing I'm wanting to do is any improvements in the motor home. I just want to crack a beer and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of Netflix. So today I'm off. I've got to do a whole bunch of errands though. So. And I was going to um, work on exterior lighting. I want to put some uh, awning lights and things like that on the motorhome, but it's really rainy, so I don't think I'll be getting to that today. But at least it's warm out. I'm just wearing a t-shirt and a hoodie. It's pretty mild out. Center now. Let's check in with Russell Kate. Once again, it's quite wet for the first half of the day, but maybe not so much for the second half as rain tapers to scattered showers through mid-afternoon. Today's high about 9 degrees, and it dries up for the end of the day and this evening. Partial clearing down around plus 2 late tonight. Clouds reform early tomorrow. A few showers reform as well. It's an unsettled Saturday featuring scattered showers and a cool breeze. Tomorrow's high just 6 degrees. In the News 1130 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Russ LeCate. Russ is guaranteeing a high of 9. Right now, 6 at the airport, 6 out in the valley downtown. We're at 4 degrees. It's 11.35. Yeah, 4 degrees downtown. So out here where I am, I'm out in the suburbs. It's about 6 degrees, uh, which is good news. As long as it's 6 degrees or less in the city, that means it's snowing on the ski hills, which is great because for the last week or so, it's been raining on the ski hills um, because it's been really, really warm. So it's starting to cool down. So I'm excited about that because I want to get back on the slopes ASAP. Ah, crap. And here I get stuck with construction right near the entrance to the highway. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but you know how LEDs flicker on film? Quite often LED lights look like, look like they're flashing, but they're not. From what I can see on the screen of the camera, it looks like the lights on that Mercedes in front of me are flashing, but they're not flashing. Only on the camera, they look like it, but it's pretty cool. This hour for LASIK MD. Did you know that you could get LASIK for zero? In 700 meters, V in the second lane from the left, then turn left on Brunette Avenue. I'm taking an alternate route. There's some, there's an accident and some problems on the main highway. So I uh, go the uh, slightly longer route. Copyright. See, I can only listen to talk radio when I'm doing driving videos. I can't listen to music or the YouTube sensors will be all over my ass. <laughs> but 
but it's a good song. Okay, that's all. <laughs> The business I'm picking up from had to be downtown. It's always a pain in the butt to park down here. It's a pain in the butt to park down here with a motorcycle, let alone a car or a motorhome. But again, as long as I can get, as long as I can find one spot on the street, I can usually fit into it. Oh, 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 what's this? Arriving at 422 Richards Street on the left. Oh, look at that. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. What do you think? Hey. Oh, somebody left me 41 minutes. Nice. Okay. Oh, all right. 12:38. So first stop is done. Oh, you guys are gonna like what one of the one of the things I picked up. I'll show it to you right now. I also got a flag made for the channel, just incredible.tv in my font, and um, this is going to be to hang up over the windows, basically. So I've got a nice backdrop. I see you, buddy. I see you back there. Okay, I also um, I also have a shout out for Line Screw One. 
and RV crazy. Uh, yesterday they stopped by and dropped this off at my motorhome. Paul. You guys, you know this movie, right? The two dudes from the UK traveling in an RV with the alien. All right, it's actually funny that you went and spent $4.88 on this movie for me. Thank you very much, by the way, guys. Merry belated Christmas. Um, I just watched this on Netflix last week for the first time. But uh, it was a pretty good movie, so thanks a lot for that, guys. You rock. Keep on rocking in the free world. Back to work for another week. And um, then I have the trade show to do uh, next weekend. So uh, you guys probably won't see much of me until after that. Uh, but you can still follow along on my um, Facebook page, of course, and at rv.life. Keep on rocking the free world, everyone. Keep on rocking.